Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 32 and 33 of Yes, Pretty Cure 5. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 32 and 3, 2, 1, go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Is that one? It is. This always mm -mm -mm -mm. just screws me over. Sure, that does. I want it in the back. If I can get it in the freaking back. Back. It's so beautiful. I know. Oh. Mm-hmm. Are, are you getting married? See, for me, I'm the type of person, and, and this is also because of anime, <laughs> at first, way before I saw this picture that I'm going to describe to you, I always wanted a white wedding dress, right? And I've seen two people, well, an anime character dress in this wedding dress, and then a um, Avril Lavigne in her second wedding, I believe. So, okay. One of my favorite groups, Rosalia, last year and slash this year, got to be brides. And their dresses were black. Gorgeous as hell. And I was like, oh my god. Years ago, when I think Avril Lavigne got married to the guy who, the lead singer in Nickelback, I believe, girl wore a pretty, beautiful black wedding dress. And I have fallen in love with black wedding dresses and I'm like you know what I think I want a black wedding dress so she'd be like hey you know do something different I mean you know some girls are I'm, all, I'm also the type of girl who's like yeah I may want pink shit um <laughs> but I really like the way black looks it looks nice and sophisticated and be like bam look at me <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Excuse me. <laughs> like a bracelet? And you have really good taste, so you know, hey. <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, but the thing is, are you you're getting paid for it, right? Like, cause that's the biggest thing that is really important. Excuse me. You'll do fine. Yeah, I mean, Ren is right. Knows me. No. 
You look so pretty. <laughs> Come on to you too. Yeah, because what if the guy she's marrying is a complete and total a-hole? <laughs> but it is. It just would be live stream straight up on YouTube. Something traditional. Mm -hmm. You look so pretty. So you want several different changes? Oh my god. Was that Coco? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Seriously? No. Yeah. That's what happened when this girl's dreams about weddings, whether it's at a young age or even my age as of right now. Yeah, I mean, you know, you have, like, the guts and everything, but, you know, you might die today. Hmm. 
Rin, don't stress yourself out. No matter what, she's going to love it. Poor baby. <laughs> Little Mm-hmm. You just take your time. Hmm. I think you just gotta make it. Rin, it's okay. She's gonna love it. <laughs> yeah. Hell, I would be too. I mean, Jesus.
Not the cake, though. Oh, my God. Where's the box? Oh. <gasps> Is that my light doing that? Mm -hmm. Exactly. She'll never get this, get to feel, ugh, I can't speak, fulfill this moment again. Maybe until like her next anniversary of a wedding, but still.
Oh, is it raining? It sounds like raining. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Oh, I wonder who's going to get it. <laughs> Rin. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> this was a really cute episode. I mean, number one, as someone who, you know, when that day comes of when a guy, you know, pops that question, oh my god, it's going to be the best day of my life, that and the wedding. But the biggest thing is the, the stressing to prepare for it. I, I've seen it in movies. I've never really truly seen it, um... Or had a friend who's had like a bridezilla moment. I've seen TV shows that also have bridezilla moments. And oh my god, it's freaking crazy. But I, I think throughout all of that, by the time when you get to that end game, when everything has been complete, everything's ready, and it's the day of. Yeah, there's sometimes a little bit of chaos like before and during the wedding, but it's fine. And, and I really like the tiara and the necklace and everything that Rin designed. It's really beautiful. And it suited her and complimented her oh so much. Like, oh my god. Like, I can't. Uh, <laughs> like, oh god. It looks so pretty. I mean, I think any any sort of accessories or anything always compliments a bride. Because she that's supposed to be where she's supposed to look her best and her greatest and everything. And when you take pictures and you preserve those memories, it's just mwah, chef kits. And then you can always, like, look back on it and then eventually show your kids. And then, you know, when you get older, you're going to see your kids get married. And it's so beautiful. Like, oh. Yeah, but guys, I mean, because honestly, let's think about that. There's been so many times where this girl was trying to get an interview with the pretty kids, but she was like, no, 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 we got to distract her on something else. Now, where we get to a point where she is about to, you know, quit and, you know, leave the club. Doing a pretty good interview does not sound that bad. But, like, there's a little bit of hits and misses. with it. There's pros and cons and everything. You don't know how this is going to go for anyone. So, it's going to be damned if you do, damned if you don't for these girls. But, yeah, going back to this episode, I mean, really, truly, it's just, ah. Uh, one day, one day when I get married, when I get married, I either want to have a black wedding dress and I'm going to have, you know, the people who ha are, like, who normally do wedding designs and everything probably look at me like I'm nuts. And be like, why does she want a black wedding dress? Be like, oh, um, mm. and then you gotta explain to the woman, be like, okay, I had a dream ever since I saw Avril Lavigne and my favorite anime girls band in an anime series wear black wedding dresses and how they are so freaking gorgeous and such. And then the woman's like, oh, okay. 
but yeah, I'm gonna make that a reality because I just, they're so freaking beautiful and I'm like, ah, oh, I'm in awe and I want it so bad. But cut and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 33. Okay, episode 33 and 3, 2, 1, go. That's a bad way to find out. <laughs> yeah, but still, that's a bad way for anyone to find out about that news. It's okay, but now you, you need to know that, especially when you're writing anything. Because the biggest thing is your words are going to have pretty much about if you because see it really depends on how you word your the way you word your words and such because either it's going to have a positive or a negative influence on anything that's the same thing as being a youtuber because whatever the heck you say comes out of your freaking mouth people are either going to agree with what you are going to say or not i mean every single day when i make a video and i say something People are either going to agree with what the heck I said or they're going to disagree. Sometimes, um, especially when it comes to a new anime season and people are looking for that show and all of us, uh, <laughs> people pop up instead of the anime. Oh, people get peeved at that. And it's been like that really for me ever since I started. And I didn't have to like start. I started selling people in the beginning, but then there was a point where I stopped and now getting back into it yeah i have to kind of start selling people again See, you say that, but then you're just going to screw up just as much as everybody else. And of course, anyone's going to feel bad for her. I mean, this is the first time where kind of she makes a mistake and she's so, she's paying for it big time.
They all quit, didn't they? And or graduated. Mm. Poor baby. <laughs> Come on. Right, though, but there has to be something you guys can do to make her happy. I mean, we know we're going to do the pretty care thing, but there's got to be something else before we can do pretty care in Rio. Mm. 
Poor baby. Hurry. Why would you just leave it? It's gonna be that first issue, isn't it? Check something real quick because I feel like freaking weather. Oop, forgot about that. Next hour. Well, I thought it would have been in the shape of a dog, but, um...
Easy. Yeah, but now we got a different problem. Hopefully we can solve that soon. It should be fine. You don't tell her your real names. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it should be fine. Yeah, you just don't use your own names. You just use the code names, you know. Dream, Mint, Lemonade, Rouge, Aqua. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Fight crime. <laughs> mm -hmm. That we can't really tell you. Mm hmm. Of course. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. <laughs> but damn, does nobody not care about that? <laughs>
My God knows. I mean, you just trying to get find out. Kind of makes you wonder if anyone else eventually by the end of this series, because once again, like I said, it's been a long for time since I've seen this series. But, uh, oh, we get to the, yeah! <laughs> we get to the meme, the meme ending song, finally, oh my god. <laughs> oh, but it's the right version. <laughs> Now, as I, what I was trying to say before finally getting to this ending song, it makes you wonder, really, um, by the end of this season going on to Go-Go, is, you know, Mika going to eventually have friends, wine, and people joining her, um, newspaper club again? Because that's what you really want for her. And, and such. I, I, I hate the fact that she's by herself all the time. But, I mean, yeah, she's friends with the girls, but, you know, she's still, you kind of still want her to have her own friends, just in case, because, you know, the, our five main characters are pretty here, so, you know, they're always going to be busy and such. But, yes, we are finally on this meme of an ending song. Oh, my God, the feel. <laughs> She's sick. <laughs> no. And that's really going to strengthen the bond of Cotton and Milk slash. It's because her name's Karumi eventually, who she's going to turn to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so, Milky and, you know, Cotton, it's just, by the end, gonna be like this. And I honestly cannot wait. Oh, but we, we finally got the meme ending song. Because <laughs> I was like, I know we're getting close to it. And I thought it was typically gonna come, like, about, like, episode 25. Because typically, looking, because I keep forgetting, like, when they do it with the show, is completely different what, than what they do now. Especially what they did at the time when this was airing. Usually when, especially when it is, like, a a two not even a two because this is a whole year for a show no matter what by the time they normally get to episode 25 that is when they normally change the opening and the endings and it's like that but yes this meme of an ending like oh even though it was fine it was 100 percent correct we didn't have one where they were like in stop motion and next thing you know it's like <laughs> I would have been laughing the whole time. Something kind of tells me now from here to the end of the series, every episode <laughs> for the video and the ending, I am just going to be laughing at this ending because that's all I'm really going to think about the whole entire time. <laughs> but thank God. Oh, I, I can't wait for the next episode. <laughs> But other than that, guys, that's my reaction view towards episode 32 and 33 of Yes, Pretty Here Vibe. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially on next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episode 34 and 35. Bye, guys.